On April the 21st, 1930, Joseph Mears opened his Richmond Kinema. The theatre itself lay behind the street frontage, which also had a row of shops with flats above. The frontage was carried out with Portland stone dressings and red facing walls. The roof had glazed Roman tiles coloured with green overs and fawn unders. The façade of the cinema itself was carried out in Portland stone. There was a recessed central feature containing two series of three windows. On either side used to be decorative vertical signs carrying the name of the cinema. Three pairs of metal grill doors led to the semicircular vestibule. There was a flat dome, which was cornice illuminated, and the decorations were in the Spanish manner. An artistic and amusing feature of the foyer were the columns, decorated with relief panels, humorously suggesting personalities connected with the theatre. Thus, there was a steamer with captain, the architects, the builder, and types of workmen. A staircase led from the inner foyer to the balcony foyer, running the width of the circle. A similar foyer ran practically the whole width of the stalls. The auditorium had been designed on the atmospheric principle and was reminiscent of the great courtyard of the house of a 17th century Spanish Grand Day. It appeared to be open to the sky and changes of coloured lighting created the illusion of the outdoor. The soffit of the balcony and the auditorium ceiling over the balcony were treated with oak beams, all carried out in fibrous plaster. Across the proscenium was a view of an open courtyard with tiled roofs, side loggias with cypress and olive trees showing above the terraced tops. Above was a great plain plastered sky which eased off into the walls so that no harsh lines appeared. On each side of the proscenium opening were handsome grills. The side loggias served as plenum inlets. The orchestra pit could accommodate 16 musicians and the console of the 28 Compton was on a lift. This was opened by Edward Farley. Holofane Limited supplied the lighting units that were fixed out of sight behind the tops of the walls so that the plain ceiling could be made to appear as the sky lighted at sunrise or any other time of day to imitate nature exactly. In addition to the lighting for the sky, there were hidden lights behind window openings in the walls which appeared as internally lighted rooms. Before tripling, the Richmond seated 1,533. Like the other cinemas of the circuit, it changed its name to Odeon in 1944. The Gaumont, a little way down Hill Street on the opposite side of the road to the Odeon, opened as the new royalty on Christmas Eve 1914. It too was a Joseph Mears theatre. The auditorium was built at the rear of an 18th century townhouse of which the foyer was an original part. The panelling, the staircase and the fireplace were retained. Decor of the auditorium was in a French classical style and the cinema seated 900 downstairs and 120 in the rather shallow balcony. An illuminated dome in the curved ceiling was towards the front of the auditorium and formally a sliding roof over the balcony could be opened on hot summer days during the intervals. From the ceiling used to hang large bronze bowl light fittings. In 1922, a Hill Norman and Beard organ was installed on a platform to the left of the screen. The original proscenium was covered in 1954 when Cinemascope came to the cinema. When Odeon bought the Mears circuit, the royalty retained its name. However, the policy of the Circuits Management Association was that all the company's cinemas should be either named Odeon or Gaumont, and in 1949 they brought the Gaumont name to Richmond.